Alright, this is uh the song I've been working on. It's new. I call it uh I realized I never introduced myself. An introduction is a formal presentation of one person to another. With that in mind, I say to you, allow me to introduce myself. I am Latrice. I am an introvert, which means I don't talk much. As we used to say back in the day, I prefer to chill in the cut, observe, and see what's up. Just a leftover coping mechanism from my childhood, but it doesn't hinder me. You see, my father was in the military, he was stern, and as a child you spoke when you were spoken to, misbehaving, well, was just not tolerated. On rare occasions I did, well, the consequences were severe, so silence and good behavior were survival for me. My mother was raised to believe that you got married and stayed, so I don't think she ever thought about other possibilities that too molded me. I am the oldest of two sisters and they mean everything to me. One, I taught to read and she taught me resilience and inner strength like you wouldn't believe. And the baby, she helped me learn to be courageous, confident, and comfortable in my own skin. Skills she mastered well before I ever did. We've never had drama, they have never judged or asked anything of me I wouldn't give freely. That's why I decided they would be all the friends I would need. I have already talked about what makes me unique. Go see my piece of Black Girls Blues. Sometimes you think I should speak loudly, move my neck, clap my hands, stomp my feet with a little profanity, a spectacle for all to see. In the workforce, it is expected because it's about who they don't see. Sorry, that's never been me. More specifically, nor is it for most of those that look like me. Nonetheless, there is always someone trying to show me how down they can be. Unfortunately, the realization that that would be my work reality laid a burden at my feet unfairly. But the Lord gave me strength to be the soldier I needed to be so I could financially provide for my family. All the while, I'm moving through society successfully, gaining respect from those around me. It hasn't made me weak or incompetent. In fact, it shows the strength that's within me because I must fight against stereotypes just to be me. And who am I? My name is Latrice. There's not any one thing that defines me. I'm a mother of two. They were born from me, but not solely just of me. Remember earlier when I said that my parents' marriage molded me? I will admit, I am not the best with relationships, baggage filled with insecurities, unresolved trauma and fears. I never learned to just simply receive. I was stuck on what I don't need. <laughs> I now see how that isolated me. I am not one to speak ill of those who have it worse than me. Plus, how can I make my babies hate part of what they see? Why would they need that from me? In a world where the eyes are stacked against them, when they look into my eyes and see their reflection, what stares back must only be one of a king. Why a king, not a prince? Because America doesn't recognize their adolescence. During a time when serial killers were killing with impunity, all the attention and resources were focused on those that looked like me. A war on drugs? Or was it a war against us? Either way, no help for the addicted. Now we recognize that it's America's epidemic. All we got were mandatory minimums. Robbing them of their years, just trying to take care of the families? Sure, we can say he should not have done this or he could have done that. But did they have to try and throw away the key? A generation of people lost. Those lives mattered. Tell me what would you do if you walked their path? You would too, because now you wait for the vote to pass. That bridge was built on their backs. Who was held accountable for that? They need reparations for that. Mass incarceration and all this brutality made them even hard to be recognized by their own families. No job because there's no empathy, pulled over by America and their biases and disregarded by society. I digress. Makes it hard to be upset because he doesn't know how to love me. 
please go check out my piece of black man's journey. So to my young sisters, listen to me. Waiting for his time, love, or to be treated the way you need to be, it's not worth the sleepless nights. Get up and go live your life. Nor is giving intimacy freely the answer, because one day you will look in the mirror and see that it wasn't free. Love yourself. But the goal is love of something greater than oneself. Nothing physical can fill that shelf. For me, it's children, family, and those that look like me. Not always bound by biology, but through our stories. I say these things because I can now see. Most of my years are behind me, and that reality of my own mortality forces reflection, self-accountability, so I can speak freely. The man that raised me didn't live to be as old as me. Is there any disbelief as to how that could be? So no reconciliation, at least not with him standing before me. What's left now is finding peace, solace in a higher being. He brings me relief. I ask him to call me first, to be there to receive the two that look like me. He helps lessen the presence of that shadow of fear of losing the one that birthed me. Now, when I look in the mirror, I know what I see. I just ask for you to not define me. I am many things. Just as you embrace your heritage, history, and all its complexities, that is the same for me. Again, allow me to introduce myself. Hello, I am Latrice.